What's up, everybody? Um, I do want to go ahead and say up front, I hope that you all are enjoying the holidays, you know, getting some time in with family and friends, which, of course, is very important there. Um, you know, kind of hope, too, that you get some awesome gifts. But uh, I think even more important than receiving gifts is, of course, giving gifts and also being charitable during this time of year as well, wherever you find those opportunities. I think that is important. Um, so in this video, of course, I'm going to focus on Christmas gifts that I received from my friend Cat D. Um, she and I usually do a pretty big trade, so it's going to probably be a good number of items here. She actually asked me to start off with a box that was sent to me directly from Funko.com. So she ordered something on Funko.com. Um, I have no idea what this is, but she told me to start with this box here, so that is what I'm going to do. Now, because it's coming from Funko.com, of course, there won't be a card in here. When I get to the other box that she sent my way, we'll see if there's a card in there. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here is this a ornament um yeah this is one of the ornaments which um i've been seeing these around especially at walmart the funko ornaments some of them are pretty cool i mean they're essentially you know just mini pops but i think they are pretty cool i like the packaging the way they did this here as well <laughs> so she sent me the uh christmas batman there that is pretty awesome and it's actually glittered as well um on the white it has glittering going on that is pretty awesome. There's actually um, a tree up at my um, my place of employment, and they they said we could bring in ornaments for the tree if we wanted to, but um, uh, nah, I'm not going to take this to work. This is definitely staying here with me. I think this is pretty awesome. I actually do have the um, the holiday DC pops, so uh, yeah, this will go along with those. That is pretty awesome there. I really like the look of that. And there is something else in here. Uh, looks like a maybe a t-shirt, maybe a pop tee. So let's see which one we have here. And I really do like the pop tees. Oh, we actually have two of them here. Okay, so yeah, I am a fan of the pop tees. I've been wearing them more and more. I've been wearing them for years, of course, because I used to get the um, subscription boxes, and I still get the uh, Marvel Collector Core, which is with Amazon. Oh, I really like this. <laughs> so we have the Joker here. I don't think I had seen this one. Yeah, that is really awesome looking there. Love the coloring on that. Love his expression as well. So that is very awesome. I definitely will be rocking that. And there's another one here. Now this one um, is based on a movie that's probably like one of the least popular Marvel movies lately. But I was still entertained by it. Uh, so we have here the Eternals as well. So if you can, if you think about this as just being a standalone movie, then I think it's pretty entertaining. I don't really think it fits super well into the MCU, but I, I did enjoy some of the characters. Um, I thought you know it had an amazing cast, obviously, you know. So yeah, I do like this T-shirt as well, and they have good quality T-shirts. You know the um. The pop tees are usually pretty good quality, usually pretty comfortable to wear. So I definitely appreciate that, Cat. I'm going to leave the uh, Batman ornament up here. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the other box that she sent my way. And we'll see if there's a card up top. I see a lot of treats already. Uh, so I'm trying to see if she sent a card, too. I'm not sure if she included one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so yeah, we do have a card here. Let's go ahead and check this out. This car feels like it has something going on with it. Um, what exactly is happening here? Is this... Oh, okay. So is this like a 3D card? It is. Okay, so it's a snow globe, basically. Oh, and it has, it has dogs there. I was actually um, just speaking to my father, and he asked about my dog. Like My father and I, we don't, we don't speak a whole lot, um, and it, usually the conversations are pretty short, so he actually didn't realize... That my dog had passed away earlier this year so i was kind of feeling you know nostalgic and thinking back on um radcliffe so yeah this is a really awesome card here i love these 3d cards to what they can do with them and the dogs there of course are very cute and i like how it's made like a snow globe um yeah that is really awesome and it's great for you know a display as well so find a good spot for it there and we do have a note here um says, Franklin, how lucky are we to have such a wonderful friendship? You are one of the best humans I know. To many more years of movie nights, late night chats, and trade gifts to one another. Love you, Cat D. 
Okay, so I, I really do appreciate that. That's very awesome there. Thank you so much for that, cat. And yeah, that card is definitely going to stay out where I can see it. I really like the look of that. That is such a cool design. So let's get to, um, I'll try to pull out the treats first that she sent me, the snacks that I'm seeing. Oh, we got some ramen here. <laughs> Hot and spicy ramen. It says molten chili chicken. Yeah, I like, I especially like the ramen when it has like those, um, I don't even know what type of seeds they are in it, but they just add so much flavor to it. So that looks pretty good. They're pretty tasty. She knows I'm, I'm a fan of ramen, especially the hot ramen. Okay, we have the Cheetos here, Flavor Shots, Flaming Hot <laughs> Asteroids, which um, I'm not sure if I've seen these around before, but those look tasty as well. Uh, we also have here the Scorching Pringles Cheddar. So yeah, I'll definitely run through these. I really do like Pringles. It depends on the flavor though. Some of the flavors are maybe too subtle, but um, overall I do like Pringles. Um, okay, so, well, let me do this here. I see these chocolates here, um, the Double Crisp Santa chocolates. Okay, at first I thought these were the marshmallow ones. I see the marshmallow ones a lot like this, but these are the crisp ones, which I do like as well. Okay, I've been seeing the marshmallow ones a lot, but yeah, you don't see the crisp ones as often for whatever reason. So, we do have a stocking here. Well, I see some more snacks. Yo, yo, let me try to get these other snacks out here first. Okay. So I really do like trail mix. We had the sweet and salty trail mix here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I've been enjoying I've been getting into pretzels a lot more lately as a snack. I didn't used to be big on them, but I've really been liking pretzels lately. And these are the best pretzels here. Dots Homestyle Pretzels. And, um... At Walmart right now, they have like a lot of them <laughs> available. They have like huge, um, you know, stacks of them available. So if you've never tried these before, they are really good. Um, the Dots pretzels. There are some different flavors as well. I don't see the different flavors around, but yeah, these here, the original, really good, really tasty. Okay. Um, I'm looking again to see if there's any more snacks right up top. I'm not seeing any. So let's get to the stocking. She and I do exchange a Christmas stocking as well. And how awesome is this one? We have a Batman Christmas stocking. Yeah, that is really cool. And I like that it's done in sort of the ugly sweater style. And it's really thick too. Like this is really good material here. So this is definitely going to last for years and years, which I really do appreciate that. And um, right away... There are some snacks sticking out up top here. So we have the, what brand is it? Oh, Jack Link's Original. And this is their double uh, XL size. They are the jerky. And is there two of them? Um, yeah, this one is mild. Is this one the same? Oh, Original and Mild. Although, honestly, I'm not sure what the difference would be. Wouldn't the Original be mild too? Not really sure <laughs> there. Um, but I do like those there, of course. So I'm going to start pulling out what else is in here in the stocking. Oh, I like these, the um, uh, Bueno chocolates there. And I see these around more and more at different stores. This is my absolute favorite candy bar. She knows that, so that's why she sent this my way. Cadbury fruit and nut milk chocolate bar there. Really good. And they tend to sell those. Um, well, they sell them at a lot of different stores, but they tend to be on special at Walgreens. If you never tried that and you're a chocolate lover and you don't mind raisins, definitely give it a try. She actually sent me two of those. And neither one of them is going to last very long around here. <laughs> okay. Actually, oh, wow. Okay, so she sent me two more of them. So four of them all together. Yeah, and they are all the same. They're my favorite. So she really hooked me up with those. Okay, and then there's more of those um, Bueno treats there. And is this the last item? I think, yeah, I think this is the last item. Oh, I haven't had these in a while. This is something else that you can find sometimes at Walmart. Um, these Squealing Hot Pork Rinds by Slim Jim. These are pretty good as well. She really hooked me up in the snacks department there. I'm good on snacks for a while. And, of course, it's good to have snacks around during uh, Christmas time. So, there again is the stocking that had all of these treats in it. And I really do love this stocking. That is very awesome there. Okay, so let's get to uh, the next item here in the box. And she knows that I'm a sucker for like really soft uh, blankets. Um, and we have one here. I wonder if this one was this uh, reversible throw. 
but I was, I was about to say, I wonder if this comes from her family's uh, store or not. I'm not sure, but this is really nice and comfortable. So, yeah, I will be making good use of that, especially as the temperatures continue to go down. But I really like those blankets there. Um, now, some items here are kind of completely wrapped up and then others. Uh, I see at least two pops that just have bubble wrap around them. So I'm going to go ahead and get to those. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Oh yeah, I knew about this one. So yeah, she um she found this one in store and actually picked it up for me. We had the Venomized Jack-O-Lantern, which I think is one of the best pops of the year. I love the look of this, really love the design of this one. Back there they have, uh, this was the second wave of Venomized figures that they got there. But yeah, Venomized Jack-O-Lantern, very cool. Now as far as the comics were concerned, I think the only storyline I've ever read that featured this character was uh, with Agent Venom. Um, he took on like his version of the Sinister Six and I think Jack-O-Lantern was a part of that. But uh, yeah, he's a really cool looking character. And this one, I may actually have to get this out of box and get a closer look at it, but uh... I tell you what, for the sake of time, I'm going to keep moving forward right now. We'll, we'll basically see everything that was sent my way. And maybe at the end, I will get a closer look at some of the figures that she sent here. But I really do like that figure. I think it's really cool. So we have another one that's uh, wrapped up in bubble wrap here. So I wonder if this is another one I already knew about. Oh, this is awesome. And oh, I'm so glad I didn't pick this up. You all, literally earlier today, I almost bought this pop. And the only reason I didn't get this zombie Doctor Strange is because when I picked it up, I realized that there was some, like some bad denting on the box. Now, I'm not super picky about box condition, but when it's like right on the front and so obvious, that does bother me a little bit. So um, I guess it was a good thing that I didn't actually buy that. I would have felt bad about it. But yeah, this zombie Strange very cool looking i actually need to watch um i want to watch the whole what if series again but especially the zombie episode because i kind of had mixed feelings on it and I, I just want to give it another shot basically so i don't know if i'm supposed to go in a certain order with the remaining packages but everything else here is wrapped up in this very nice wrapping paper here which i'm terrible at wrapping gifts cat d's pretty good at it you know and she wrapped the rest of these things very nicely here so i'm just gonna go with this one you know um like i said i don't think there's a particular order and with the size of this i can't quite tell is it a cos baby maybe the bottom of the box kind of makes it look that way oh yes yes so um she actually sent me images of a couple of different Cos Baby Jokers and was, you know, trying to gauge how I felt about them. And this one, of course, is based off of Arkham Knight. It actually has the laughing mouth there with looks like dynamite in his mouth. But this one does look really awesome. I mean, with the Cos Babies, there are so many Cos Babies that I really am a fan of. There's there's no way I'll be able to get all of the Cos Babies that I would love to have. But, um... This one is pretty awesome. I even like the ha 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 on the box. Like they do a good job. Hot Toys, they do a good job with the um, packaging as well for their Cos Babies. And that Joker is just so classic. You know, the Arkham Joker voiced by Mark Hamill. Very classic character. Really like the look of that one there. I'm going to have to like reorganize my Joker collection. I got my Joker start. They're kind of starting to be spread around and I kind of want to get them together. Um, so this here doesn't really seem like a pop box maybe but oh okay so this is another item that she um, sent me some pictures of while she was out um, shopping and was trying to gauge if there was anything that I liked in the store and yes I really wanted this I really want this red dress Harley Quinn this is very cool I'm definitely gonna have to open up a couple of these items and share them at the end of the video because I really want to get a closer look at this one here and I love the Suicide Squad it, it might be my favorite movie of the year you know, just seeing this is making me want to watch the movie again already. I really like that movie. Um, we got another box here. Two boxes here that are about the same size. I wonder if these are Cos Babies as well. Let's find out here. And so far, Cat, I'm loving everything here. Okay, so I see Batman up top. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is nice. Okay, so yet another Joker that I really wanted. This is Joker with the bullhorn. I like, too, that the hat, I think the hat actually, yeah, because it got the plastic beneath it, the hat is actually a separate piece, so you could take the hat off, you know, put it back on. Very cool. 
Yeah, Joker with the bullhorn, which I don't have the Funko Pop of this. It, I think it sells with a, yeah, it sells with a t-shirt. Um, not really stressing over that too much. I, I think the Cos baby actually looks much better. But yeah, that is pretty awesome there. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be a Cos baby as well. Let's see if it falls into the same line. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted this one too. So this is Batman from the Dark Knight, and this is basically from the interrogation scene. Yeah, and they actually had the table there, so that is very cool. So now, I mean, I I have no choice at this point. I'm going to have to try to get the Joker as well to complete the scene. They do have a Joker sitting down at a table as well. You know, the Heath Ledger Joker from the Dark Knight. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to complete that scene. That scene is pretty awesome. Yeah. It was, it was really a great scene between those two characters and those two actors as well, you know, so now I want to watch The Dark Knight again. It's funny how, you know, I see these things and it just, it really makes me want to watch, you know, what they're based off of again. Okay, so moving the camera back some, we got a lot going on here. Am amazing so far, Cat. I'm really happy with these items. So next up here and, you know, I'm looking at these other boxes here and based on their size, I'm, I'm, not so sure what's going on. You know, we'll have to find out together here. Is this actually Cos Babies as well? Oh, yes, yes. Um, I told Kat this is like, as far as Cos Babies go, this was top of my list of what I really wanted to add to my collection. Absolutely love this. Yeah, so we got Two-Face there. The Tommy Lee Jones Two-Face. I love how they got him flipping the coin there. That's a nice effect. And we got the Riddler there, of course, the Jim Carrey Riddler. I think it's so cool that they put them together, you know, of course, based on Batman Forever, which is a pretty cheesy movie, but it's still entertaining in its own way. And I thought it was interesting to learn that these actors really did not get along with each other. I think Jim Carrey can be a bit much to be around. Um, but uh, I love this artwork here, too. And it's actually textured, like you could feel like the raised images there. Yeah, this is these figures. They're, I mean, they have some great detailing. Oh, they even have the um, Riddler logo there on the stand. Yeah, the, with the question mark. That is really awesome. As, as awesome as the details are, I don't want to open this. I actually want to leave this in box. Um, th this is a great collector's item. Great keepsake there. Really love that set. So, yeah, like I said, that was my number one for a long time of what I wanted as far as Cos Babies are concerned. Really happy to have that in my collection now. That was actually sitting in my cart on Sideshow Collectibles for a long time. And I just, I didn't pull the trigger because I was focusing on other things basically. But uh, really happy to have that now. Okay. Again, Cat, I don't know if I'm supposed to be going in a certain order or not. I'm just going to go with this uh, long box here. And again, I definitely appreciate you taking the time to wrap everything up so nicely. I like the um, wrapping paper that you chose as well. That cycle. I see this is a DC Multiverse item. Oh, I actually, I actually was sent this. I had, I do have this item here, and that's okay. You know that I had two. So what I'll probably do is, um, this one, the box is actually in a, a better condition. So I think I'm going to keep this one in box. And the other one, I actually have the figure that goes along with it. Um, do they have him on the back? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, they basically show him there, the Batman with Scythe. So um, the other one, yeah, I'll get that out of box. I hadn't actually done that yet, and I'll put the figure on the motorcycle, but I'm going to keep this one um, to display in the box, okay? It is really cool in terms of its design. And I... I I wonder if that was on my wish list. If I left that on my wish list, that's my bad cat. I can't remember for sure. After it was sent to me previously, I, I probably should have checked to see if I had that on my wish list. Okay, next up here, this looks like a Funko item um, because I see it from the side. As a matter of fact, I see what this is. And this is something I've been seeing it in stores and I just like, I've been like, you know, let me be patient because I knew I had this on my wish list. And, uh, yeah, we have here Skeletor with Snake Mountain, which I've been tempted to pick up so many times. But like I said, it was on my wish list and I've been trying to focus on shopping for other people. And then I've had some pre-orders that have been coming in as well. So very happy to have this, though. And yeah, I really want to get a closer look at the actual Snake Mountain there. So that might be another item I have to open up to get a closer look at. But that is very cool. I like the Skeletor as well, how he has his staff. 
and the sword in hand there also very cool all right y'all we are down to the last item here and this is a good sized box here um i don't know if this is like could it be a 10 inch pop possibly you know we'll see here but let's go ahead and tear into it and find out what's going on okay it does look like a 10 inch pop oh okay <laughs> So this is something I don't think I ever saw this in store. I don't think I ever find you know saw it in store, but we have here the black light 10 inch gladiator hulk. And I'm trying to move my camera back to get this in, in frame here, but uh yeah, I never saw this around and I kept saying, you know, initially I was like, I don't know if I really need that, but then I started saying if I see it in store, I'm gonna get it. But I just never did. Like it never came to my area, or at least not in my, you know, when I was able to see it. So maybe it did come to my area and it just sold out. But uh, yeah, this is really awesome. I, I really do like some of the black light designs. And Gladiator Hulk here works really well with this design. Awesome coloring to it. And I might have to actually try, you know, a black light on this particular item here. So yeah, this is really awesome. And um, well, I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to actually open up a couple of the items. We'll take a quick look at them here to kind of wrap things up. This Snake Mountain, th this is the type of item that just really makes me feel like a kid again because it's just so cool to actually hold in hand and to see all the really awesome details to it. And they really did go above and beyond with some of the details here. I really do like that. Yeah, like the, you know, how, how this door looks up here as well. And then, you know, to be able to see the other side of it, of course, you know, you got to get your items out of box, get your Funko Pops and, you know, things out of box to really see all the awesome details they have going on. But the coloring looks fantastic on this. I love all the creepy details. Yeah, this is just really well done. And um, I, I know I never owned the um, original. Um, so th this is really awesome to have here. And like I said, I definitely do like the Skeletor that goes along with it as well. Skeletor always has great coloring to him, you know, with the design of his face and everything. But yeah, I, li I just like the Skeletor here as well, looking like he's um, more so than usual ready for battle. You know, so that is really awesome. The Harley Quinn here, <laughs> amazing. You know, very, very cute, of course. And like I said, The Suicide Squad, probably my favorite movie of the year. And I think Margot Robbie just really nailed it as the character, especially in this particular movie. Um, Birds of Prey, I'm still not the biggest um, fan of, you know, in the first Suicide Squad movie. And eh. um, <laughs> not, not super crazy on that either, but... Yeah, the Suicide Squad, like I said, she did an excellent job. I was very happy with um, the story details. And, you know, she kind of has some character growth, but in, in a pretty twisted way, though. But, uh, yeah, this is really awesome here. And um, I know there is a, a black dress version as well. You know, Q Poskets, they tend to do at least two versions of each one. Um, but I like the red dress. You know, it's the movie accurate one. And then, like I said, I really feel like this is one of the best pops of the year. And I was kind of wondering how they were going to pull this off with him kind of riding the pitchfork there. You know, how is it going to stand? But I mean, it's basically the flame effect creating the stand. So this is really cool here. It'd be nice to see this actual character. I don't know if he would ever be on the big screen, but, you know, to see him somewhere else, maybe in animation or, you know, pop up in one of the uh, Disney uh, Plus series. Who knows? Um, it would just be nice to see him somewhere basically i don't know the story behind this suit that he has on here i mean he actually has uh you know like a venom logo going on there i guess it's just because he is venomized maybe that's all there is to it but yeah this is so awesome here of course glow in the dark would make it even better i think we all know that but yeah regardless though this is just a really awesome figure definitely one of my favorites for this year and then i'm gonna have to get the lights down here because like i said i want to actually see the black light detail with this gladiator hulk i am using a handheld black light but um i think it's good enough that you, you know you see what the colors look like up under a black light pretty awesome yeah i really like the detail of it and I, I like how they do um some of the you know some of the areas of the paint job is just it's almost like comic like straight out of a comic book basically with this different shading and things they got going on there i don't even know exactly i'm not an artist myself so i don't know exactly how to describe it but yeah i really do like the look of those details yeah and this figure looks pretty awesome still surprised that my targets um you know that i haven't seen it in the targets in my area they usually have been pretty good 
about getting in some exclusives but yeah this one never arrived so great pickup there cat i really do appreciate this one and more than likely i'm going to keep this out of box i just really like the look of it you know all the different details the giant hammer you know even his giant hand there the way he has his hand look like he's ready to fight um it just looks so cool so yeah that one is going to stay displayed out of box so I can't really display everything that Kat just sent me up here at one time, but you know, if you watched the video all the way through, then you saw everything that she was kind enough to send my way. Some really awesome items. I, you know, I appreciate the treats, the ornament, the stocking, the shirts, everything. You know, all these figures really very much appreciated, Kat. I can tell that you definitely put some thought into the things that you sent my way. And like I said, I really do appreciate that. And I do want you all to see the items that I sent her way. So um, I will try to make sure I remember to link her video down in the description so you can go check that out. And uh, while you're there, you know, uh, consider subscribing to her channel as well and show her some support. I know she would definitely appreciate that. But uh, yeah, one more time, Kat, thank you so much for the awesome gifts. Uh, this is definitely, um, uh, you know, a very Merry Christmas, I should say, you know, with the gifts that you sent me here. Really awesome. Very much appreciate it. And of course, I appreciate our friendship as well. But yeah, thank you all so much for taking the time to check out this video. Don't forget to check out um, Kat's video and see what I sent her way. And I will talk to you all again real soon.